This is one of my seven GTA 5 garages and it's worth over $23 million. I've spent over $200 million on the collection. I've bought special cars, muscle cars, even cars for movies and motorcycles. So here's what's in my garage. Garages. The first garage that I'm showing you is my auto shop garage, and it's filled with all of my dream cars. The garage is split into two groups. This is daily drivers, and this side has all of my favorite super and sports cars. Starting on my daily driver side, we have this Honda Civic. Well, actually, it's a Ballista Kanjo, but it has a fat turbo. Next up is this Lexus. I'm not too sure what it's called in game, but here's the price and name. I actually love this car, and it matches the Civic. Next, I got my root and tootin' trucks. I got the Cara Cara 4x4 and the Vapid Riata. You just never know when you're gonna need a truck. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge truck guy, but these cars are pretty sick. So I threw them in here, goddammit. Moving on to my super and sports cars. This is my 812 GTS Ferrari, AKA the Itali GTO. It's really fast and it's one of my favorite cars in real life and in game. Is that a, yo, is that a Supra? Yes, I like Supras. This is the Jester RR though, so you can't flame me. We got the Growler or the Porsche, some might say. Oh, good car in game, good car in real life. Now we have the Mercedes AMG GT. Of course, it's all blacked out with the white interior though. Oh yeah, this is the Scalgen GT. I just love this car. It just makes me feel some type of way. I just love Corvettes. We have the R. Eight. I don't know why, but some part of me just likes the older models more. But you know, the new ones, it's still an Audi R8. So in game though, this is the 10F wide body. The total price of this garage is $23,672,000. And I actually have two garages in this one building, apartment 30 and apartment 28. This garage is pretty expensive, but the apartments aren't really special. So I'm just not gonna spend a lot of time on them. First in the garage, we have the Nero Custom. Next, we have the Entity MT, which is actually my favorite car in here. I also have the old fastest car in the game, the Pro. Even though it's fast, my favorite thing about it is its price. <laughs> Moving on, here's the next car. I'm not a huge fan of it, but here's the name and price. The next car is the X80 Proto, and I have the one-time special 300R. Here's the Tulip M100 and the Torero XO, which looks much better in the sun. This is the Issy Rally. It's not very good, but it's pretty fun. Last in this garage is the Bariso 300 Widebody. This car is absolute class. And the total price of this apartment garage comes out to 30,605,000. And now going to the second apartment garage. This garage is mainly filled with the Frankenstein. It's not not rare but it is pretty cool to have all four because they all cost a little over half a million i also have the independence bike and that's also just cool to have because it only comes out once a year and over here we have the fastest car in the game with no hsw upgrades and yes this is actually the fastest car in the game even i had no idea and right here is my first ever vehicle i had on this account which makes this priceless and the grand total price of this garage is 4.9 million dollars plus infinity. And now that we're getting to the office garages, this is the good stuff. To start off office garage one, we have most of my special vehicles. And the first vehicle in my collection is the Oppressor Mark One. This honestly deserves some more love. I would recommend it, but it is a little hard to get used to. I also have the Mark II, but yeah, it's, you know, pretty lame. But next up, we have the Vigilante, one of my favorite cars in the game. Overall, it's super fun to use, and I have this police livery tag. I also have the Scramjet, but everyone already knows that you're automatically destined to land in water when you drive it. So it is a little lower on my list. The Torator is a good step down from the Scramjet if you want something fun and a little more durable. Just like the Scramjet, it has boost and missiles, but instead of jumping, it goes underwater. To get a little bit classy, we have the Deluxo. I'm sure everyone already knows about this, so there's not much to say, but I absolutely love this car. <laughs> The next row in my office garage is filled with all of my off-road cars, starting off with the Vagrant, which was actually my first off-road car. I do like it, but it glitches out sometimes. Next, we have my trophy truck, and honestly, I have not drove this, but it is pretty cool looking. And it has the wheels in the back. This right here, though, is my absolute favorite off-road car, and it has a fat turbo. Yes, P-H-A-T. It has a bunch of customizations like this light bar and massive front bumper. There's a bunch of different liveries too, but I went with this one because it's pretty badass. This car right here is a new DLC car. It's pretty cool, but doesn't compare to the last car. And this is called the Draugr. Next up is this Hummer that I kind of customized to look like a military car. For being so big, this car is actually fast, which is why I like it so much. And this is a car that I won from the casino. I do like it, but the gun on the back is kind of useless if you don't have another person. And you already know that I have the Insurgent. It's just such a good car. It fits eight people. It's fast and armored. Some may not count this as an off-road vehicle, but I do. So eat my... And this next row is just so hype you won't even believe what's up here. <laughs> 
Now I'm playing this as a work in progress. Let me know what cars I should put on this third floor in the comments. Out of these three floors, Office Garage number one's total price is $59,918,750. Moving on to Office Garage number two. On floor one, we just have some more daily drivers. Starting off, we have a Dinka Kanjo SJ, which is based off a of Honda Civic SI. Next up is the Issy Rally, and it's actually pretty new. And honestly, I just love the way I customized it. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the ZR350. It's based off an RX-7, which is actually one of my favorite cars in real life. So it's pretty cool to have. I need to change the color on this though ASAP. I also have a Raiden, which looks exactly like a Tesla. I actually used this car in one of my videos where I pretended to sell someone a car and it ended up actually just being this car in game. Next up, we have this Hakucho or Hakuchi motorcycle. I'm not really sure what it's called, but if you want a free 100K in GTA every week, then I would recommend getting this bike because this is the best vehicle to use for time trials. I actually have another motorcycle called the Revere. I only bought it because it was new. It's fast. I just don't really drive motorcycles cycles in the game. The next floor is actually one of my favorite sections of all my garages because it has all of my muscle cars. Up first is the Gauntlet Classic Custom, which is my favorite car on this office garage floor. Here's the Ruiner ZZ8, which is based off a of Pontiac Firebird, and I really like it because it looks so aggressive. Next up, matching the red, we have the Tahoma Coupe with a massive supercharger, and this car pops some pretty massive wheelies. I also have some new muscle cars like this Buffalo STX, which is sort of like a Hellcat. Also, I matched the color on this Camaro because I wanted to to triple the colorway onto this Range Rover, which I know isn't a muscle car, but it matched the Challenger, so I just threw it up here. I actually have a name for the next floor I'm about to show you, and here's what it is. <laughs> If you don't have headphones in, I'm so sorry. Now I'm regretting making this row for the video because that was seriously not funny. To sum it up, I basically wasted 10 million for that. The total price for Office Garage number two is $53,843,000. This is my second favorite garage that I own because it has all of my cars from movies in it, like my recreation of Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, and even Tomater. I don't know why, but just driving these cars around the map is so fun, especially because everyone stops to just look at them. I also have the James Bond car, which basically just comes like this stock. I want to have a little competition, so I'll be pinning one person's comment that says what movie this car is from. This is my third scramjet, by the way. And I also had to get a second Vigilante because this is the closest that you can get to the Batmobile. I mean, why not have two when you already have one? This next row was just unbelievably sexy. I got one and I got two. Two little boo things. If you couldn't tell, this is actually my Fast and Furious row. Starting off, we have two R34s. I'm sure you already know who drives these. I also have Brian Supra. This car is pretty spot on. I just love the looks of it too. And I can't forget about the Sultan Classic or the Mitsubishi Eclipse. This is definitely one of my favorites in the collection. But my all-time favorite out of this garage is the Banshee, which is a remake of Han's Arc 7 in Tokyo Drift. Oh yeah, I also have the Scooby-Doo van. <laughs> and the third row in this garage actually has nothing to do with movies. It's just cars I've won from the casino. And my very first supercar I ever bought on this account. And hands down, the Zentorno has the best butterfly doors in the game. The total price of office garage number three is $26,106,000. And and the last garage that I have is my Arena War Workshop. I don't have every Arena War vehicle. I only have the ones that I actually thought were cool or at least fun. So to start off, I have the futuristic upgraded slam van. You know, all my cars have the upgrades like the turrets and saws because I just got it like that. Next up is a futuristic upgraded ZR380, which completely stock actually looks pretty good. Once again, this one has max upgrades. I also have a scarab, which honestly let me down. I thought this car was going to be super fun, but it's just not. I also have the nightmare upgraded Dominator, which is just a Mustang in disguise, but this one's pretty fun. Moving on to the big daddy, the big kahuna. It's the Cerberus. It has the futuristic upgrade and a glitch crew color. I'm not sure if you could tell, but it's like a chrome blue. Next is the first apocalyptic upgraded vehicle. Despite just being ugly, I just don't really like this upgrade option. I only like this one because it's unique. It straight up has a full skeleton in the back. I also have the Future Shock Issy. I bought this to do the duplication glitch with, but then I realized that I had enough money already. And by far my favorite car in this garage is the Future Shock Sasquatch. It looks good and it's fun to use. And this electric ram bar is just fun to shock people with. Last but not least is the Death Bike. This is the best Arena War vehicle to get if you want something to get around the map quick and have a little bit of fun. The total price of my Arena War garage is $31,500,690. Since that's all seven of my garages, the final price is $230,581,440. 
$40. If you made it to the end, comment this emoji and don't forget to like and subscribe.